Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, this is very a very exciting vlog for me. I have been wanting to do this for, I cannot tell you how long, like so long. I've been saving, I've been like thinking about it and finally here we are. I'm getting lip filler. I debated on vlogging this or not, so I just wanna say like quick disclaimer. If you're a troll or if you're like anti-body modification or whatever, like you do you, I don't care what you do, but do not come here to say anything negative. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I am very heavy and very quick on the block button and I will not hesitate. So I do just want to say that, like I cannot mentally handle trolls on this video. So don't even do it. You will be blocked like that but if you do like stuff like this and if you like fashion lifestyle i do a lot of grad school content as well make sure that you subscribe and stick around it literally means the absolute world to me i am so thankful for you guys so yeah this is so exciting i am going to be taking you guys along as i get lip filler i literally just pulled up right now i am here i live in charlotte north carolina and i go to miramay if you're interested tell them that i sent you that gave you a little referral it's a med spa so this is where i get Get my facials and obviously also they have filler and stuff like that so this is my first ever like body modification I guess you could say I've never had any kind of filler or anything like that so I'm so excited I'm very like pro do whatever you want with your body like I mean whatever you want it's nobody's business if you're insecure about something and like you can change it or you want to change it, then do it. I don't see a problem with it. I think you should love yourself at all stages, but you can still do what you want to do and, and you don't have to. And that's exactly what I mean by, I don't care what you do, like do whatever you want with your body. The main reason for me is that I have a very strong chin, as you can probably have noticed in my videos. So it kind of like comes out and like protrudes a little bit. So I'm hoping this will like tone that down. And also when I smile, my upper lip completely like disappears, which is fine. This is just like about me. So like, you know, I don't want to make anybody like look themselves in the mirror and be like, oh shit, same. But like, this is just me and my personal opinion. This is why I debated on vlogging it because I like don't want to step on anybody's toes, but I have the best intentions. So like, just know that. Here is before. I did do a consultation with her. So I think we're going to do one full syringe. I'm here really early because I wanted to be able to like vlog and make content before I go in. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get like as many clips as I can. I'll like put a warning on the screen if I'm gonna have like, if I actually get any clips of the needles or anything for you guys to like, I'll put like skip forward 30 seconds or something. I'm gonna take you guys along on like the healing process. So I'll vlog today and then the healing over the next few days. Cause obviously if you guys don't know anything about lip filler, my lips are gonna be extremely swollen for probably like a week. So like when I first get them done, they're gonna swell and get bigger and bigger, but like that's not what it's gonna look like. So I don't really know what it's gonna look like until like a week or two, so. But I will definitely keep you guys updated. Headed in. Now when it comes to your top and bottom lip size, do you always still wanna keep your bottom lip a little bit bigger than your top? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I like that, but some mm -hmm. people come in and they're like, no, I want them even or I want mm -hmm. my top bigger. Yeah, I think so just because I've always looked like that, so yeah. I feel like that would be natural. Absolutely. Okay, numbing is on. A little bit of natural asymmetries, right? So you'll notice that when you're swollen, it'll look more magnified. Like this side naturally is up a little bit more on your top lip. This side is kind of, okay. I don't know if you ever noticed that. Uh, I think a little bit. Like, like slight, slight, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so again, you'll notice it more when it's swollen and it's still always maybe a little bit like that.
Okay, just did a little Trader Joe's run. It's times like these I'm thankful for mass. But I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. Okay, here's the after. It hurts really bad to smile. The bruising is starting in the pinpoints and they are very swollen, of course. It literally hurts to talk. But I will pop up my before and afters, even though you guys definitely saw plenty before and after. The swelling is gonna go down significantly, which honestly, I'm so sad. Like, I like how they look right now. I literally was like, this is how the cycle starts. Like, I like how they look like this. And I know I'm gonna want more because they're gonna go down quite a bit which you guys will see over the next few vlogs, but it does kind of hurt to talk, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. The actual process isn't bad. You're super numbed, like your whole tongue and everything gets numb. And you definitely can feel when the needle goes in, but it's just like a pinch, like, but it's not that bad. She basically said I had like some natural asymmetry in my lips, which I knew, so that's kind of hard to correct. So she was like, they might still look uneven, you might notice it more which is fine because that's natural to me. And then I also wanted to keep my lower lip larger than my top lip because my top lip is naturally smaller. So like, again, to keep it natural, we wanted to keep those same like ratios, I guess you could say, because some people want them to be the same size. But I was like, naturally for me, my top lip is smaller. <laughs> if I'm talking weird, it's because it hurts. So yeah, it doesn't, it feels like my lips are about to bust. Like they feel very like balloons on my face. Definitely hard to talk. So I'm gonna take you guys along on the next few days as things heal up. That's kind of the update for now. I'll keep you guys updated as things heal. She said tomorrow morning is when they're gonna be at their most swollen point. So I'm excited to see them tomorrow morning. But like right now, I think I like them this size, like seriously. So I might end up having to get another syringe once I save up the money again. I will update you guys maybe later today, maybe in the morning, we'll see. Okay, so it's a few hours later now. I went to the gym. <clears throat> My lips hurt so bad. But I thought I would update. I can barely talk. My lips feel like I got stung by a thousand bees. It's definitely getting worse. I like can barely talk. And yeah, they just are really hurting right now. Like talking hurts, eating hurts, drinking hurts, can't use a straw can't pucker just me trying to pucker I can't smile it really hurts so day one pain is high I'm ex I mean high is dramatic like I'm okay but they really hurt like you can't move your mouth day two I'm expecting about the same tomorrow and then hopefully from there it'll start to get better but ooh, definitely feeling it right now Frank is so sad mommy can't kiss him he wants to kiss I'm not happy, but I'm not sad. Flux up. Okay, hi guys. It is day two of letting my lips heal. We're gonna have to move. <laughs> I had you sitting on top of a candle. That was not the move. Day two update on letting my lips heal. They are very swollen obviously as you can tell she basically told me that last night and this morning would be like the peak swollen so they're like at their peak swollen right now i have a lot of chapstick on because they're really hard to keep moisturized right now because they hurt and i can barely move them so i can't really lick my lips so that's why they're like so covered in chapstick but you can see their bruising where she injected me. So oh, totally normal, expected that as well. I will say last night I was in a lot of pain. Like they hurt really bad last night. I like, don't know how to describe it. It just feels like your lips are about to burst. <laughs> Actually I do, I described it last night. It feels like you got stung by a million bees like all along your lips. So yeah, that's kind of the update. We're at our peak swelling, we're bruising. I slept really good last night. I think my body was just like exhausted from healing itself. So I slept super good. And when I woke up, 
I could like move my lips a little bit more. And I was like so excited. I was like, oh, like I've got some movement. Now that I've been up for a while, it's kind of back to the same as last night. It doesn't hurt though like it did last night at all. They feel very bumpy, which she told me, because the filler is hard, but then it has to soften up, which it does over time. But that's a good point is she told me not to ice them to help the swelling because you don't want to harden the filler even further. So no ice, we just gotta let them swell and do their thing. This is me trying to drink out of a straw. I definitely have more movement than yesterday. So yeah, I'm excited for them to like keep going down and kind of see the final product. I am about to work on an assignment. As you guys probably know if you watched my last vlog, it's my last two week of classes. So I have a bunch of projects to finish this week and then finals are at the beginning of next week. So I am about to grind. My head spin and now I've been thinking too much. I got time on my hands. Need to escape reality for the sake Okay, of thank you. Okay, hi guys. It's the next day, as you probably could tell by what I put on the screen. But I just woke up today and I'm a bad dog mom and I realized last night I was completely out of dog food. Like I had just enough to feed him dinner. So I had to get up bright and early, go to PetSmart as soon as they opened, 9 a.m. Had to like show up right there when they opened, got his dog food. So he's gonna have breakfast. It's 9.30, so like we're good. And then last night I also ordered groceries for pickup. Grocery pickup is so convenient. Like I literally just pulled up to the Harris Teeter press little button and they did it in like five minutes and if you spend over fifty dollars it's only two dollars for them to shop for you which personally i think is worth it but yeah so I had to get groceries i just didn't feel like like i go to harris teeter when i don't feel like shopping because trader joe's is obviously my favorite but I, I like have to be in the mood to go to the store which i am a lot but i just knew i wasn't gonna be today because i have a lot of work to do i'm rambling but yeah, so we're about to go in and get to work for the day. I figured I could give you guys just a little update since I'm not really vlogging this week besides about my lips, but here's the lip update the next day. The pain every single day goes down. Like I can move them more and more every single day. They're definitely bruised a lot more today in the injection sites, but yeah, they just get better and better every day. So the first day was rough. Like I was in a lot of pain, but yeah, I figured I could take you guys along a little bit more today. Let's go inside and feed my dog. <laughs> I have a meeting in three minutes. Not cute, sorry. I'm just working on a lot of final projects that I have. I have my telehealth presentation and the 25 page paper and then i have a financial analysis project that i'm also working on so those are my main things i have this meeting for work i'm about to go to the gym soon and then i am meeting some friends tonight for some drinks i'm gonna be totally done very soon so i'm really excited just like a week and a half more two weeks left i'm kind of stuck down on my love okay i'm going to get some drinks with some friends. So I thought I'd show you my outfit. Leather pants, Air Force Ones. This top is misguided. This is my first time putting makeup on with my lips. So I, they're bruised really bad. So I think I'm gonna put concealer on them and then lipstick. I've never purposely put concealer on my lips. line them. I'm so used to overlining. Okay, you can definitely still see the bruising, but here we are with some makeup. Super excited to go out tonight. Definitely need some social hour. Hi guys, happy Friday. Let me turn the air down. So I literally just rolled out of bed. I am headed to my family's, my dad's for the weekend. So that'll be fun. But I thought I would hop on here and in the vlog slash give you one last update on my lips. It's officially day five. So this is the day she said would be my favorite. And I definitely agree. I like the size. So if they go down any more than this, I probably will get like another half a syringe or something, honestly to keep them this size. I know they are gonna continue to go down. Apparently they go down for like two weeks or like a week. If they stay this size, I will be content. But if they go down, I probably will get a little bit more. But yeah, so overall I had a really great experience. 
I think I told you guys, but I go to Miramay in Charlotte. She's literally amazing. So if you are interested and you're in Charlotte, or if you're interested in any kind of med spa stuff, they do my facials, they do Botox, they do everything. So definitely look into them. Did an amazing job. I haven't had any issues. The first night, like you guys probably saw, I was in a lot of pain. Like looking back on it, I'm like, yeah, I was hurting like really bad. Like you can't take your mind off your lips. They hurt so bad. For that, after like a few days later, totally fine. They are still bruised, as you can see where I was injected. So the bruising still needs to heal up. I was hoping it would be healed by the time I saw my dad <laughs> because he's gonna be like, what the hell did you do to yourself, Krista? I already know, but whatever. So yeah, the bruising is definitely, I feel like two days ago, the bruising was like at its worst. So hopefully it's getting better from here on out, but I hope that you guys kind of enjoyed my lip filler experience. I know like when I was thinking about getting lip filler, I watched so many of these vlogs. So thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end. I literally love every single one of you so freaking much. I wish I could meet you. I can't wait for the day where someone comes up to me and says they're a subscriber. Like, I don't know at what point that happens, but I think I'll cry. But I love you guys so very much. If you did make it to the end, please subscribe. It obviously means everything to me. And I will see you guys so very soon in my next video. Bye guys.